Hello everyone. So today's topic is we are going to discuss some terms from microbial taxonomy. Okay, there are many terms which are used in uh, taxonomy, but these are some basic ones which you should know. And generally, you have taxonomy in your masters, so these are some terms which you should be familiar with. Okay, so let's start. So first, we will study what is taxonomy. So taxonomy is a science or a branch of science of biological classification and study of relationship between groups of organism. Okay, so we study and we classify groups of organism, and that helps us in um, having better organized structure of all the living organisms. So say plants, animals, uh, microbes, etc. It helps or it makes studying them easy. Now the, it consists of three separate but interrelated parts. Okay, taxonomy consists of three separate but interrelated parts, which are classification, nomenclature, and identification. So what is classification? So it is arrangement of organisms into groups called taxa based on their mutual similarities. Okay, so. You can uh, take an example of a medical store where uh, all the medicines, the chemist, he arrange the medicines depending on their um, use. Okay, so it makes the chemist to, uh, it makes it easy for him and it saves time. Okay, when a customer comes to purchase a particular medicine, he directly goes to the compartment where he has stored that particular medicine and he gets it. Okay, he don't have to keep on searching the medicine. So thus the classification makes our work easy. Then comes nomenclature. So nomenclature is a branch of taxonomy which is concerned with the assignment of names of taxonomic group in agreement with the published rules. Okay, so by uh, for example, in case of plants, there are some rules depending on which the naming is done. Same goes for the microbial naming. Okay, so there are some rules, and by following those rules, names are assigned to a particular taxonomic group. Okay, so that's the another uh, interrelated part of taxonomy that is nomenclature. Then comes identification. So a process of determining if a particular isolate belongs to a particular taxon. Okay, so you identify where this particular organism or say a bacterial culture belongs to. You study that particular bacterial uh, isolate and you try to identify it and you then you uh, place it to a particular taxon. Then comes systematics. Now systematics is a study of kinds and diversity of organisms and relationship among them or you can define it as scientific study of organism with the ultimate objective of characterizing them and arranging them in an orderly manner. Okay, then comes phenetic taxonomy, phylogenetic, which is also termed as phyletic taxonomy and polyphasic. Okay, so these are some uh, terms where you may get confused. So how to remember? Now phenetic is a system of classification where organisms based on their similarities mostly they are uh, classified by using the morphology okay or other observ observable traits they are classified and regardless of their phylogeny or evolutionary relation so phenetic is where you classify organism depending on their external characteristics like morphology or other observable traits okay you don't go for the genetic study or the evolutionary relatedness okay then comes phylogenetic now phylogenetic is organisms they are grouped together based on their probable evo evolutionary relationship okay so in phylogenetic or phyletic taxonomy evolutionary studies are done okay it, uh, whether the two organisms are evolutionary uh, they are related or not that is studied and it compares data for from genetic material and gene products okay so in case of phyletic or phylogenetic what is studied 
genetic material and gene products that is RNA and proteins. They are studied to trace the evolutionary relationship. Then comes the polyphasic. Now polyphasic is where identification of newly discovered prokaryote based on the multiple criteria is done. What are the criteria? Phenotypic that means depending on the morphology, genotypic that means depending on the genetic material study and phylogenetic that is evolutionary relatedness. Okay, so all these characters or oh, sorry criteria are applied and a newly discovered prokaryote is identified and then it is classified. So that is polyphasic taxonomy. Then comes chemotaxonomy. So it is a method of biological classification which is based on differences and similarities in the structure of certain compounds which you are studying among two organisms which have been classified. Okay, so say there is a particular protein which is produced by two organisms then you will um, apply chemotaxonomy that is biological classification based on the differences and similarities in that particular compound that is a protein. Then comes numerical taxonomy. So it is a way to classify organisms based on the characters which are selected and they are valued equally okay, for the study and it evaluates the similarities between the organisms being studied by using mathematical methods like assigning numbers to the characteristics. Okay, So this is actually a, a computerized method mathematical method which is used to classify organisms on their characteristics which are valued equally okay then comes the molecular chronometer so it is a phylogenetic marker right and is highly conserved molecule so it can be say a gene or say a protein okay or 16s rrna is a molecular chronometer so it is a highly conserved molecule whose rate of mutation is constant and which can therefore be used to construct phylogenetic trees. Okay. So thus in case of evolutionary relatedness, you can use molecular chronometers to construct phylogenetic trees. Okay. So these are some uh, terms which you will get when you have uh, taxonomy in your masters. Okay. So don't get confused. All the definitions are discussed here. So I hope you like this video. Do comment on this video. Do tell me how you uh, liked or how the video is helpful to you. And share these videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.